Hi everybody, today we're solving measurement problems, which just means that we are problem solving with units. You remember units like in the customary system and in the metric system, and then there's also units of time and units of money like dollars and cents. Sometimes when we're solving problems with units, we have to switch from a smaller unit to a larger unit, in which case we would divide, and sometimes we go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, in which case we multiply. So let's try one of these together. Here we have a rabbit that hopped five miles and a turtle that walked 88 yards, and we want to know in yards how much farther did the rabbit hop than the turtle walk. Okay, we got this, so rabbit five miles and turtle 88 yards, and we want to know the difference here. Well, to do that operation, we're going to need these to be in the same unit. So we either want the miles to be yards or the yards to be miles. Well, when we go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply, so let's change the miles into yards. So what do we need to know first? We need to know how many yards are in one mile. So one mile equals 1,760 yards. So to move from miles to yards, we'll multiply our five miles by our 1,760 yards per mile. And you don't need to worry maybe about writing out all those units like that. And this gives us a grand total of 8,800 yards. Okay. Now, we need to know the difference, how much farther did the rabbit go, so that's 8,800 yards minus 88 yards, which gives us 8,712 yards, ta-da, we solved it. Moving on. All right, so what we've got here is a giant word problem, and I think now that it's time to panic. No, it's not time to panic. We got this. No big deal. So Riley's opening a new bag of dog food, and she's feeding her three dogs. She puts 400 grams in each bowl, and then we're told how much is left in the bag. And we're just going to find out how much was in the bag to begin with. We got this. Okay, so we've got this bag with some unknown amount in it, and the goal is to find that amount. We know that we have poured out already 400 for each dog. So let's throw that in here. And then we know that there's 5,800 grams left. So we're given all of the amounts that create the unknown total. So how do we find a total? We add. So I'm going to shorten this a little bit because we know that 400 added three times or 400 times three is 1,200. So now this is a little tidier when I add my 5,800 grams to my 1,200 grams. And now that comes out to 7,000 grams. Now, we would be done, except they want the answer in kilograms. So we need to remember that 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And to move from a smaller unit like grams to a larger unit like kilograms, we divide. So we're dividing 7,000 grams by 1,000. And the easiest way we can do that is with a nifty little trick we learned where we can just move this decimal point three places to the left. And now I know that 7,000 grams equals 7 kilograms. And boom, that's your answer. No big deal. Now you can go and try some measurement problems on your own.